Blender's image editor sucks, so I made my own. And uh, it's just an add-on that introduces layer-based editing inside Blender. And uh, this is it. Uh, so let me show you how you can use it to texture a building like this. So uh, just right away, I'm going to start a new project here. I'll call it, uh, I don't know, shop. And uh, I can choose the canvas. I'm going to start with a low resolution. When I come to the final thing, I can bake at a... Uh, 2k or 4k so let me just go for with uh, 512 and start editing uh the first thing i want to do is uh bring in some image i want this wall here to be made out of bricks and i already prepared a material here to go with it so i'm just going to call this uh shop as well and let me connect the bsd okay so i'm going to start with a brick texture so let me go to my textures here i'll go to my brick and uh, let me grab this here add images and uh, start editing uh if uh you don't see the image coming in. You just have to stop and start editing to just uh, refresh uh, the add-on. Uh, because I want the texture to be applied on the walls here, let me go under create a selection or create a mask for the walls. So I'm going to select this and I want this brick texture to be on. And I'll go to the selection presets and create a new selection. And uh, let me just call this wall and store selection. Now, if I undo the selection, I can reselect that and I see that's Great, you can see the faces are selected and I can save that into a mask. So faces, so now I can bring this image up here. Let me scale it up just like that. And I can bake the image. Perfect. You can see that uh, the brick has already gone onto the wall, but uh, this is, uh, the bricks are too big. So I can go to the layer appearance and uh, let me increase the tiling to maybe two by two. And I'll just update the bake by baking the to image again. And now you can see what we have. Okay, next up, let me add a, a material for the door here. I'm just going to grab an image of Google and import in that image. So add images, I, I'll grab this. And let me also make a selection for my door here. So I'll just select these faces, go back to my selections and uh, create a new selection, call this door in case I want to reuse it so i don't need the entire image so i can go to layer appearance again uh, there is a crop option so i can uh, first of all let me make sure i'm selecting the right image let me crop just okay i'll get the door up to there and uh yeah i can create a mask for the for the door but uh i don't think it's necessary since i know the door is here so i can just come in here place it there just bake again. Uh, sometimes when you try to click any of the buttons here, when you have uh, the canvas behind this panel, uh, the buttons won't click. So just move the canvas away and just bake again or click any button you want to do. And uh, now we have a bake. Yeah, so we have a door. You can see the resolution is quite low because again, we are using a 5 to 11 canvas. But I can fix that after we are done with the baking. Uh, um, What else? Let's do the window as well. And uh, since I like this door, I think I like the window that came with it. So I'm just going to duplicate this, duplicate selected. Uh, if you created a mask for the image or for the door, you have to you have to make sure that uh, it's a unique mask. Otherwise, it's still going to use the door mask. Uh, but since I didn't do that, I'm just going to crop out the door and crop in the window instead of the door. So let me... And uh, you can either create a mask or since this is uh, something simple, I... Actually, let me just create a mask for that. Just like that. And uh, you can bake again. Perfect. Uh, let's first do the cover here, this cover here. So I'm going to grab another image. And create a mask out of that. I'll just rotate this red dot here rotates the image and are these other ones are used for scaling so you can scale up or scale down the image just like that so that's that and i'll do another big perfect you can see how quickly that's happening uh, i want to add maybe something like a wooden a wooden material here maybe let me scale it down and uh, scale it out and create a mask out of that. And now I can bake again. You can see how this makes texturing in Blender quite 
easy. Now the rest are just these pieces here. Uh, so let me select all the pieces that don't have any textures to them. Yeah, these are the rest of the pieces. And I'll just call them others here. And create a mask out of that. This is a problem. I selected the, the brick image when I created the mask. So the mask for this has been, has replaced the brick image. But uh, that's okay. I can unhide everything since we already have uh, the wall selection. So I can reselect and uh, recreate the mask. And uh, now since I already have a selection for the others, reselect. And uh, I need a new image. Yeah, maybe we can also make it tile a bit. So let's go to the layer appearance tiling option. Let's do two by two. No, two by one. And uh, I can create a mask for, for it. And I can bake. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, if I connect this to the base color and preview this with uh, the other stuff, you can see what we have. Again, the resolution is still low. Uh, maybe you want a text here that says maybe shop. I wanted to add text editing directly into Blender, but uh, it's it turned out to be a lot of work and unpredictable. So what I've done, uh, because I still needed the text editor, I just created an editor in the browser uh, that opens up in the browser. So when you click this open text editor, it will just open up Chrome or whatever browser you're using and uh, you can write whatever you want. So I'll do show pass like that and uh, increase the size. You can see the preview and select a uh, different font. I will change the color maybe to white, text color uh, to white. Uh, turn on transparency and uh, yeah, I think for, for now that's going to be it. You can reduce the resolution. Uh, maybe this is 500. I should improve the, I'll be improving the preview of this. Don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to download this as an image and uh, just import that text as an image. So I'll do add image and I can see I have the text. So I can now for the final thing, I can just increase the resolution. Let me go to and uh, again, when you increase the resolution, it uh, tends to uh, to increase the time it takes to bake. This is all still editable. You can still move things around. Yeah, so if you are done with the editing, you just have to increase the resolution to what you want. But uh, remember, the higher the resolution, the longer it's going to take. It can take up to three to five minutes to bake an image. So be prepared to wait for that if you increase the uh, the resolution too high. So you can increase the canvas size and bake the image again to have what you want. Another example I'm going to show here, let me open a new project here and I'm going to use my looped clothes add-on and I'm just going to grab a jacket here, import uh, the jacket. Uh, you can see it's already set up with some textures, uh, but I want to add a blender logo and uh, maybe some text in the back. I uh, just quickly here. So I can go to the text editor here and start a new project. Uh, let me start with 512 again to make this fast. Let me call this shut. Uh, it's better to have the project saved. Uh, that way the textures are saved as well. So I'll call this shut. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, importing a logo and click start editing and uh, I can uh, add. Now because the islands are separated Clearly here, I don't even need masks for this, uh, but uh, if you want to create them, you can easily create them as well. So um, then the logo, uh, I can now back to image and uh, you can look at that. Now the resolution again is a bit low because I'm render baking at uh, 512, but I have the image here and uh, the rest is just setting it up to work with the other textures you have. I can use a mix color. Now the logo is going to be down here and the other image is going to be, uh, going to be in input a now you can see our logo uh the image is going to come with an alpha channel if you take a look at that that's at how it looks so i can connect that uh, like that and i have an image again if you increase the resolution you'll get uh, better results so i can make again you can see if i increase that the resolution is again going to 1K would be good enough for this, but I, I think I have a lot of wastage in the UV space here. Uh, that's why it's... Uh... Anyway, uh, if your image doesn't have an alpha channel, uh, let's say add image, I grab... Let's grab this. Uh, let's say I want it maybe on here. I can just grab them. 
and uh, in appearances their appearances you have the option to create to create transparency i should be under transparency you can use the image alpha if the image has an alpha channel or you can use luminance i can use that uh, let me use contrast maybe uh, any channel that works for you you can use that and i think i like that i'll just scale this down i don't want all of the patches let me get the first one here turn on cropping and just crop out what you don't need just like that and i will rotate this and place it there back again and uh, you can see what i get now yeah the resolution is bad and uh, the uh, sometimes when you use the alpha channel if you generate the alpha channel it's not going to be the best but you can always try different uh, types or operations for the transparency to see what gives you the best results let me try contrast and just i like that you can see even the logo is improving uh you can add other things uh like uh i can add another image i, I like this image here i can bring it in and uh, maybe i want it as a detail on this shot uh behind uh, this so i can move this layer and uh, i want it just on this part so i can come in here and select uh, this now the issue here is that uh, uh these meshes are merged there's no separation here but uh, uh the uvs are not so for now let me first hide this and select this use the sync selection to select just this part and uh, create a new selection preset i call this right hand and uh, store selection and i'll create a mask for the for the image out of this so i'll just where is the masking features so masking you might have to click the the mask the faces button twice to create the mask if you click it once and it doesn't do it i'll uh, just click it again and it should work so i can come back to this and bake the image perfect i will also reduce the resolution a bit and uh, i still want the white uh the white material so another thing you could do is uh use the gradient masking that comes with the transparent with the appearance i'll change the angle to 90. i think maybe uh, let's keep it to zero and invert it so that this fades and i can bake again perfect i also want this duplicated on the other side so i can just duplicate this uh, but remember it still has the mask so i'll just make it a, a different mask here and again make a selection yeah if you have text you can also bring that in i already made some uh like uh, this subscribe button so i'll just bring it in and i'll place it in the back here and again i'll do a quick bake and look at that yeah so that's it uh, if you want to check out the add-on it's going to be on my gumroad patreon and my and uh, blender market links are going to be in the description thank you for watching see you